Hi, welcome to the channel. I am Summer. Today's haircut is going to be a fun, short, textured haircut with a nice side bang. This is perfect for clients 50 and up. It has always been a favor amongst all of my clients and I just recently did it on my mother-in-law and she is just as obsessed with it as I am. With that being said, let's get started. All right, so before we get started in section off, I just wanna show you how much length this mannequin has right now. It's like a nice right at the shoulder length, just typical layered haircut. So what we're going to be doing is bringing this up quite a bit in the back and cutting a lot into these sides. I did this type of cut on my mother-in-law a couple weeks ago, and it was so much fun. It gave her lots of movement and texture. Um, she is in her 60s, she doesn't want anything on the neck, she wants it off the neck, she gets hot, which is a common complaint I've often heard from my clients over the years. And it's just fun, as you get older, you have more like confidence, so you're like, cut it shorter, give me all the texture, give me all the layers. So this is, I wouldn't call it a bob, because it has a lot more layers and texture than a bob does, but it's not your traditional pixie, which is nice, because I feel like so many times, you know, the typical line is like, oh, past the age of 50, everyone should keep their hair short. And while it, like a lot of women wanna wear their hair short, they don't always want it also to be just a bob or a pixie. So these types of cuts are really nice for that because you get the hair off of your neck, but you're not like your just typical classic pixie bob haircut. So I'm just separating the back from the front like I typically always do. And I'm gonna be combing this forward and clip this out of the way, and I did the same on the other side. All right, so I'm gonna have this mannequin look down a little bit. And what we're gonna do is take our first section here, I'm splitting it right in the middle just so I have control and clean lines, and we are going to cut our perimeter to start bringing up our length. All right, so we are gonna be removing quite a bit of length because remember, we're gonna be cutting into, I mean, I lightly said this, but we are gonna be cutting into this ear area so you can see into it, but it's definitely gonna be kind of in line with the jaw with this cut into a little bit more. So we're taking it up quite a bit here. So completely off the neck. I'm using my shark fin shears, just combing straight down and cut. So often what I'll do a lot of times when first cutting the perimeter, I'll look here at the side and see how that's lining and I'm gonna bring it up a little bit shorter. So to show you guys on the secondary camera, I wanna think about it in terms of this jawline. So we have a lot more that we need to bring up. So I'm just gonna comb it and cut. Got my guide there again. So this is fully off of her neck. You're not gonna really be able to pull this back at all, but you have enough that you can mess around with and play with to get a lot of texture, which we are gonna start creating now. I'm gonna slightly stack this similar to how I would a bob, not as severe, and only for a little bit on this bottom part, just because that helps to give like some angling and kind of sort of like taper it in a little bit. So we're gonna come in, gonna grab with my scissors, and grab with my comb and fingers, and then take my scissors, and I can see my guide right here, and I'm just point cutting into that. And then as I go up, I like to check my corners, make sure that they're matching up, and then we'll take our next section. Combing it back. I'm just gonna slightly curve with the head here, so I'm not over-directing this piece straight back. I'm kind of rounding a little bit. 
I see my guide. Cut. So again, I'm kind of lightly curving here with this corner. Cut. And check your pieces. They're looking good. Next section. already created actually lots of shape and texture. This is gonna look so fun. Kind of flipped out underneath. So at this point, I'm gonna take a little bit wider of a section here and we're sort of going to start layering it. Not so much angling it out anymore. So almost like we're doing some traditional layers here come out, but I'm gonna angle up slightly and just follow along with that guide. See my guide here and cut into it. And I'm doing a softer point cut. I'm not doing a blunt line. We want lots of texture and shape with this. I don't want any hard lines. I'm gonna let out this last top piece. And we're gonna do the same thing. Follow along with that guide from the bottom. So what you're doing is you're pulling out from your last section. I can see my guide down here. I've got a little bit of an angle here in my fingers. Cut. So angling up, I see all my guide. Cut. Look at that, nice and short, but it's got much more layering than like a traditional bob would. And then we're gonna now get into our sides to blend these in and cut into this so we have some shape. These hair cuts are great for like tucking. Um, my mother-in-law is a big tucker. So I always kinda, when someone's tucking, I like to try to base my angle upon like how their hair lays when they tuck. So I'll look at it with it all down I cut into it, I'll show you guys as I go, but I'll then start tucking to kind of look to see how it lays, and I'll cut with it sometimes even tucked behind the ear. I like, I'm all over the place sometimes with my shorter haircuts, but there is a method to my madness. So instead of this, where a traditional bob would be, you just come down and you cut this straight across and you leave a lot of the weight, we're actually going to be cutting in to where you have exposure here to this ear. So this lightens up a little bit of like bulkiness, especially if you, your client likes to tuck, because what happens when tucking, if you don't cut into it right, you do get like this bulk that just, it kind of doesn't lay the way that it should. It kind of ruins the look of the haircut. So we're gonna be working in sections and I'm first going to actually cut my perimeter somewhat similar like I would for a regular bob. I'm just gonna come in and go straight across just to remove some length. So you would wanna to talk to your client about where they wanna see this longest piece around their face. I'm gonna be bringing it up a good amount still around the face a little bit so if they do tuck, they've got a nice, you know, a little something something hanging out here for some mess and like, not mess, but a little something. So keep that in mind. So we're gonna come in and I'm just gonna shorten this up a little bit. 
So what you wanna do is I think about this sort of in a triangle. We got a triangle, one side that's leading up to the ear and another that's leading back down out. So sort of like how I cut pixies, but you're leaving more length. So I'm gonna remove some of this, clip this out of the way, cause this is gonna be the triangle going down. So I'm gonna come about midway of the ear, right at the eardrum area. And I'm actually just gonna cut first visually, leading right up into there. And then I'll go in and kind of clean up with my fingers down here. So this right here already helps to clean up that bulk for if you have a tucker. You're not gonna have like this big weird thing popping out here. It's gonna lay a lot smoother. So now that we've cut the first side of our triangle, we're gonna come meet at our other point and just cut right up into that other point. So that's already created that nice triangle shape here. We are gonna be removing more length here, but I'm gonna to wait to do that until we get into a little bit more of the face frame, because you're gonna be cutting more there anyways, and you'll blend it in better in that step. So now what we're gonna do is we're just gonna sort of work like we're in a layer, because we already have our guide set here at the bottom. We're just gonna come out. I'm angling up a little bit with my fingers, same as I was the back, and just point cut into that. Angle up, I see my guide right here, cut. And then so what I'm gonna do, this is gonna be my last section for this side, I'm gonna leave this top out and wait to cut that until I've already done the other side and I'll use this to set the bang in the front with that other side once we're done cutting. Come in, just continue creating your layers, follow that guide, and point cut. This little guy wants to get in my way. gonna be so cute. So I like doing the V because if you know you have a client that specifically tucks a lot on both sides, it just helps remove a lot of that bulk. And then when the hair is down, you can still maintain a little bit more hair here depending on if they like to half tuck with some of it out. Um, if they like a lot of a face frame, you know, it'll change, but this is like the traditional way I have cut this type of haircut. So we're gonna come in and we're just gonna do the same on the other side. And to match up is a lot of like visual. I'll go back and forth where I look at one side, how short is it laying on my ear, then I kind of visually will match it on the other. So start off just in smaller sections, take your time. I like will spin my client back and forth in the chair quite a bit when doing this. But you're basically gonna set your guide the same idea. First, you're gonna come in here and just cut that length to remove it. This is less hair to work with. And we're gonna take a look visually. So I'm gonna split this again to think of our triangle. So I'm gonna clip that out of the way. And then what I do is I'll come on my other side. I make a mental note of where it is. And then I'll come back over and cut the same as I did on that other side where I'll just visually go into it. And sometimes you can see from your layering, the piece here is already like curving up to it. Okay, so I wanna show you guys. So this is hitting right at the very bottom part of her earlobe. And when I turn her, it's hitting right at the very part of the earlobe. So that's what I mean when I say I go back and forth. That's literally how I will check. And then obviously, of course, you'd stand in front to make sure it's lining up. Then we're gonna let that down. And then we're gonna do the same thing where we just come right up 
to meet it. So I'm gonna check this now that I've cut the bulk. So my scissors, my comb is at my angle with my fingers, so when I go to take the section, I've got the comb at an angle. Point that, point cut into that. I'm jumbling my words today. And then do the same on this other side. And then sometimes if your front pieces here of your front side of your triangle aren't dead even at first, that's okay because again, remember we're gonna be cutting in to a little bit more of the bang area. If you wanna check them while you do this part, you can, but if one side stays a little bit longer than this very front piece, it's okay because you're gonna cut into that in a little bit here. Got this random corner sticking out back here. Okay, so we have that perimeter, so we're gonna come in the same way, grab our hair, we're angling up ever so slightly and following that guide and cut. We're gonna take one more section here. Grab the hair, angling up, cut. Alrighty, so before I cut the rest of the top, what I'm gonna do is start looking at it on both sides to see if there's anything I need to tweak before we cut into our face frame. So I'll look at it from the back. So what I'll do is I'll look at it from the back and I'll kinda, I would be standing directly in front of the client here, but I wanna show you guys. And I would start pulling pieces to the center to see if one side needs more cut than the other. You could even stand in front and pull it towards you and you're going to do the same with the ear. So you'll want to grab sections of hair that are in the same area. So I'm going to grab right at like the tip of the ear on one side and I'm going to grab right at the tip of the ear on the other side and standing in front, you would pull them towards you and see how they line up. So to try and show you guys this demonstration, I grab the hair pull it towards you, see if one side needs cut more than the other. It's a little longer, I think, on this side. But visually, that's how I check it. Again, I always just literally, I go back and forth. So I'll stand at the mirror, I turn them, I have them facing the mirror, I look at it, then I spin, and I look at it. A lot of back and forth. So now that we have the basis of that cut, we're gonna get into our face frame first. And I'm gonna spritz her back down, she's drying out on me. Usually with Pixies, if you're a stylist doing this, I always like to give myself extra time. Not that this is like a true Pixie, but it is shorter and it's a lot of texture and specific cutting. I like to give myself more time, especially if the person has a lot of hair, because you always have to keep going back in and like removing more hair, especially if they like it really PC. Um, so I always say book yourself out more than an hour. If somebody has like thinner hair and you're used to the cut on them, if it's like a returning client, you know, you can not need as much time, but new clients, always more than an hour for this haircut. All right, so think about this. We're keeping this, her jaw length a little shorter here on her sides. For when they go to tuck, you're not gonna have quite as much length. This side has more length that we left on it when I was cutting, just cause. So we're gonna set the bang first. And I'm just gonna kind of do it like I would any other bang, nothing crazy. Like this part's pretty simple. So we're combing down. I'm angling my fingers down and just cut. 
I'm gonna angle this even a little bit more in this front corner. Sometimes with a bang, especially a side bang, I feel like that very inner corner always needs just a little bit more of an angling and nipping so it flows and you don't have like quite as much bulk. And then what we're gonna do is just follow that through to the bottom part of that hair. So this little corner here, we actually need a little bit more nipped right in here, just a little bit. And just follow that down. And then we're gonna do the same on the other side and then finish layering the top. I'm gonna grab the front piece of my bang here Match it up with this other side. And we're just gonna actually from the bottom angle up into the top. And I think we need to remove just a little bit more length in this side corner here. So I'm combing this down. I'm just gonna nip in to this bottom corner. Okay, so now that we have this front face framing done, we're just gonna continue layering through the rest of the top and sides. So much shorter, I like it. So we're literally just gonna be grabbing the hair, go back to that kind of motion of those round layers coming out. You can see how much longer this hair is that we didn't cut and point cut into that. And we're gonna do the same on this other side. Grab the hair. Cut. Grabbing from this other side of the head and connect in the middle. And after I get this dry, I might cut into these top layers a little bit more depending on how they're laying. Um, we're definitely gonna be texturizing a little bit before we start drying. And then I'm sure afterwards, you guys know I love my dry cutting. And then we have a little bit in this face layer here, or face bang. The front <laughs> bang here, we need to layer. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna angle it straight up, let that weight from that bang fall at the perimeter, and we're just gonna, at an angle, cut it. I always like to cut into a side bang just because it does tend to get a little heavy. So it'll look a little too bulky. Um, most times I always will layer a bang and texturize it more after I get it dry. Even on like fine or thin hair, typically they need it a little just to soften it up. If the bang, I mean a, a heavy bang is nice, but if it's too heavy, it just doesn't lay the same. It like looks bulky and normally you need cutting into it. Okay, so as you can see here, we can get a nice tuck going here with a little hair left along the face that'll swoop out nicely. And then same on this other side. We have that bulk removed here, so clients that are a tucker, they can nicely get this tucked without it being super heavy in here, but they still have a little bit of shape around their face. And then again with the bang. So what I'm gonna do first is use my regular texturizing shears to go in and especially on the side that a client wears their hair. So all this side is gonna be naturally a little bit heavier just because it's coming over here. I'll texturize a little bit, especially in this area where they tuck because the hair still will bunch up and get a little bulky. So I'm just gonna do it lightly first before I dry just to remove some of that hair to make the drying go a little quicker and easier. All right, so I'm gonna put in actually that 
the transformer paste and then we'll get her dry. I'm just gonna do a little bit of a messy blow dry with a little bit of round brushing as well and then we'll get to dry cutting. Alrighty, so we've got her dried and styled. So fun, nice and short. Now we're gonna create more pieciness though. So a lot of times when cutting the sides, when they're wet, I don't like to texturize them too much just because the side area can be a lot thinner on certain clients than others. So I will wait until after it's dry to go in and cut it. But usually this part stays a little too like bulky looking. So that's when I'll come in with my texturizing shears. You could use a razor depending on if your client's open to that or not, but I typically just use my texturizing shears or if they have very naturally thin or fine hair, you can use your regular shears as well. Um, but because this mannequin of course has loads, we're going in re regular texturizing shears. So I'm just gonna come in and just cut into that, softening that line up a lot. She is like so heavy in here. And what you kind of want to do is make it look a little bit more like wispy, just very light and feathery. Because again, when they're going to tuck, it's going to make it nice and soft in here versus like if it's too bulky, it just, it doesn't lay the same. And we might need to remove some of that length, we'll see. And then we're gonna come in and do the same on the other side. Again, you can see that thick line. Um, and again, just either use your regular shears or your thinning shears, depending on how naturally thick or thin the hair is. And lastly, the bangs. Again, I did layer them a little bit more, but I still will often come in and just lightly texturize them. Again, finer hair types, you probably want a point cut over using the actual fitting shears. And so then at this point, what you would wanna do is have your client take a look in the mirror, see if there's anywhere they want shorter. Um, I think actually, I think the one side needs to come up just a tiny bit more at her face. Okay, so they would go ahead and take a look in the mirror. I always at this point will have the client, I'm like feel through, like mess it up in the back. You can see I kind of flip this out here. So I will tell them to go through, feel in here, feel throughout, see if there's anywhere else that they want taken in. Um, but otherwise this came out good. Obviously this would be dependent upon the client in your chair or you as a client, but it came out really nice. So I'm just gonna use a little bit of paste. This is the AG Dry Lift. I used this in last week's video. I actually used both these styling products in last week's video. So I'm gonna get her styled out and then we'll get you guys out of here. All right, here is our finished and final look. We have tons of movement and texture with this nice short haircut that's off of the neck. So you're gonna stay nice and cool. Through the sides, we have that same movement and texture as well with the option to go ahead and tuck at the ears, but we took out all that bulk and weight for those who like to tuck. And then we have a nice soft side swept bang with those layers on the top. I so enjoyed doing this haircut. I hope you all enjoyed it as well. And I will see you guys on the next video. Bye.